Hey there, it's Josh Hardy with Hardy Brothers Outdoors. If this is your first time visiting our channel, uh, we have two channels. We have this reviews channel and we have a outdoors channel that has all kinds of other content. So if you like what you see today, hit that like and subscribe and check out our other channel as well. What I wanted to do today was talk about the Greenworks Pro 80 volt, 21 inch self-propelled mower. I've already done a review on it. I'll leave the link up here. That's over on our other channel. It's getting a lot of good uh, comments and, and watch time. But today I just wanted to talk about the five things that I love about this mower and a couple things I'm not so sure about. One of those was the buying process and the second one is about the mower itself. So stick around and we'll get right into it. Okay, the first thing that I really like about this mower is just like my gas mower, it's a three in one. It's a bagger, it's a mulcher, and you can do side discharge. And all of those come on and off really easily. So if you're mulching, this is down, side distribution comes off. If you're gonna do the uh, mulching, there's actually a plug in here on the back, but if you're gonna use the bagger, you need to remove that. So that's all it takes. So these are the two pieces that uh, convert it into three and one. The second thing I like about this are the batteries. So mine came with two four amp hour batteries and a dual charger. Now I've heard from others who bought it from Costco that theirs only came with a single bay charger. This dual bay charger will charge both of the batteries uh, in 45 minutes total, which is great. And that's about the lifespan of each of them as well. So 90 minutes of cut time. So I really like the battery function on this. I heard the lower voltage ones take a lot longer to charge. Next, and this is really cool. I think this is one of those things that's like the reinvention of the mower. Should have been done a long time ago, but wasn't. You know how difficult it is raising and lowering all of the wheels. You don't do it that often, but it's a pain in the butt when you do it. Look at this, one handle all the way down, all the way up, and there's seven spots in between. Couldn't be easier. To me, that's one of those things that should have been done a long time ago. And uh, Greenworks, and I'm seeing it on other models out there as well, but this is a fantastic enhancement to the mower. The fourth thing I like about this is the simplicity uh, of just starting it up. So hold in the handles, push a button, and you get relatively quiet operation. Let's listen to it for a second. And I'll tell you about the, uh, the uh, decibels on this. Okay, so I'm mic'd up right here beside it, so you should have heard it pretty good. This thing runs at about 80 decibels. The typical conversation is 60 decibels. When you're on the turbo mode, it jumps all the way up to 83. I took the readings about where my uh, head is so that I'm getting the actual sound from where I am. Now, I'd seen someone uh, had asked me, well, do you need earplugs to safely operate this? Most people don't wear earphones or earplugs with a gas powered mower, probably should, but this one, uh, what I read was a safe operation. Anything below 85 decibels doesn't require uh, any kind of noise uh, protection for your ears. So this one should be safe from that perspective. And the fifth and probably one of the most uh, unexpected favorites of this is going to be the stow and go feature, but what it actually provides in addition to small space stowing. So there's two locks here. Pull in on those, flip them forward, and this thing will lift right up and you can stow it against the wall. That's pretty cool in itself, but check this out. Now I have full visibility to the underneath, easy to clean the underneath of the mower and to access my blade and do service on that. No tipping it over, spilling gas, spilling uh, oil, uh, and that's pretty cool. I didn't realize this benefit until the other day when I was putting it up to stow it. So pretty neat. Goes back down just as easy. And you're ready to mow again. Okay, those are the five things I really like about it. I mentioned two things that I don't or that I'm not sure about yet. First one, the buying process. I bought on greenworks.com. Man, is it confusing out there. Greenworks, if you're listening to me, you guys could do a lot better job allowing people to easily compare your different models. There are a number of 80 volt models. There's a smart pace, there's a non uh, self-propelled, there's a self-propelled, there's 
two amp hour battery package. There's a four amp hour battery package, double charger. It's just all over the place. Same with the different accessories that went with it as well. Easy comparison, tell me what's a Gen 1 versus Gen 2. I can't tell what's the latest technology. Why are the prices different? Anyway, I got what was the newest, most advanced one that I can find. And um, the thing about the Costco one, if you're gonna buy them from Costco, is it comes with this charger. I wouldn't have known that until people started commenting on my other video. So here's the thing that I'm questioning about this mower right now. What happens with this when you engage the self-propelled and I've heard this about electric cars, that it takes a second to take off. Like I've heard that about the Tesla. Push the gas and then you're gone. But it takes a second to, uh, to actually uh, engage. So the same thing happens here. When I push in and I'm ready to go, it's like a second and a half. I mean, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it's enough to just kind of throw you off a little bit. Uh, and that's, uh, that's really interesting. The other thing is when you stop, with the self-propel. Because it's rear driven, you can't just stop and turn, or if you're moving along fast enough, you can't turn without it trying to get away from you. Uh, but when you let go, that same second to a second and a half is what it takes for the rear wheels to um, unlock from the, the drivetrain. And so if you try to turn too fast or you push up and you're trying to pull back, there's a problem with that. So I'm starting to realize that I kind of liked self-propelled on the front wheels because when you lift up and you turn and pivot, the wheels might still be spinning, but you're not actually stopped from being able to move. So those are two things I didn't really expect was the, uh, the, the time to take off and the time to let off in order to have the free spinning rear wheels. So anyway, um, if you haven't seen my main review, check it out up here. And uh, we really appreciate you coming to our channel, watching our content. Hit that like and subscribe if this was helpful. I'm gonna leave a couple links on where you can buy these. Uh, if you use our Amazon link, we get uh, a small commission. But again, this model right now, as of this recording, isn't available out there, but there's lots of others. If you're not going self-propelled, there's one out there. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much for your time. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.